Ever wondered which is the world's most visited museum? It's a question that might have you picturing grand structures in Paris or Rome, bustling with tourists, or perhaps modern installations in New York or London. But have you ever stopped to consider that the answer might not be as obvious as you think? That perhaps the most frequented museum is nestled somewhere unexpected? Well, get ready to embark on a journey of discovery, because the answer might surprise you. The title of the most visited museum goes to the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. Now that's a jewel in the crown of the United States cultural landscape. Nestled in the heart of the capital, this museum is a haven of knowledge and exploration. Established in the late 19th century, the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History has been an epicenter of discovery, housing over 145 million specimens and artifacts. These treasures span everything from the dawn of humanity to the farthest reaches of the cosmos. And they're all under one roof. The museum is not just about looking at exhibits though. It's about engaging with our world our history and our future, in a deeply personal way. It's about sparking curiosity, inspiring awe and expanding our understanding of the natural world. But how did this museum achieve such worldwide acclaim? Let's turn the pages of history and find out. Our story begins in the late 19th century, in 1846 to be precise. In this era, the Smithsonian Institution, an entity that would later become a beacon of knowledge and culture, was established. The founding of the Smithsonian was nothing short of an idealistic endeavor. It was a quest to cultivate the diffusion of knowledge, a mission that was set in motion by the British scientist James Smithson. Smithson, who never set foot on American soil, left his fortune to the United States for the creation of an establishment for the increase and diffusion of knowledge. A noble idea indeed and one that would spark the beginnings of a nationwide journey towards enlightenment. Within this framework, the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History was conceived. This museum was not just a building, but an embodiment of Smithson's vision. It was a place where knowledge could be stored, studied, and shared. A place that would invite the curious, the learners, and the knowledge seekers from every corner of the world. The idea behind its creation was simple, yet profound. It was to collect artifacts, specimens, and cultural expressions that tell the story of our planet and its inhabitants. From the smallest insect to the largest dinosaur, from the earliest human civilizations to the latest scientific discoveries, the museum was to house it all. And so, the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History came into existence. From its inception, it was destined to be more than just a museum. It was to be a storybook, a time capsule, and a mirror reflecting the vastness and diversity of our natural world. Indeed, the beginnings of the museum were steeped in idealism and ambition. It was an endeavor to encapsulate the past, present, and future of our world under one roof. It was a mission to make the wonders of our world accessible to everyone, to inspire curiosity, foster learning, and fuel the quest for knowledge. And that was just the beginning. As the years rolled by, the museum grew both in size and in the diversity of its collections. It started as a modest endeavor, a humble repository of artifacts, but like a seedling taking root, it began to grow. The passage of time brought about an increase in the collection size, a testament to the tireless efforts of the curators. The museum's exhibits soon began to multiply, each one a new chapter in the grand narrative of human history. From delicate Ming vases to towering dinosaur skeletons, from ancient Egyptian papyrus scrolls to modern works of art, the museum's collection became a kaleidoscope of culture. Each edition, each new exhibit, was a fresh brushstroke on the canvas of the museum, painting a vivid picture of our shared heritage. But the museum's growth wasn't confined to its collection. The building itself began to expand, to accommodate the growing number of exhibits. New wings were added, each one a marvel of architectural design. Spaces were reimagined, repurposed, and redesigned to create an immersive experience for visitors. The museum was not just a place to store artifacts, it was a space to tell stories, to spark curiosity, to inspire awe. And as the museum grew, so did its reputation. Word spread of this treasure trove in Washington, of this repository of history and culture. Visitors started to pour in, drawn by the promise of discovery, by the allure of the past. The museum was a magnet pulling in people from all corners of the globe. It transcended borders, it transcended cultures, it transcended time. The museum's growth was not just a matter of square footage or the number of exhibits. It was about the impact it had on its visitors, the experiences it offered, the memories it created. 
It was about bringing history to life, about making the past tangible, about inspiring a sense of wonder. The museum was fast becoming a must-visit destination. The real turning point came in the mid-20th century. Like a caterpillar metamorphosing into a butterfly, the museum underwent a transformative evolution during this period. The mid-20th century was a time of global change. The world was rapidly shifting with technological advancements and societal upheaval. Amidst this backdrop of change the museum also began to evolve. It was during this time that the museum made significant changes in its operations and exhibits which led to a surge in its popularity. The museum's management understood the need to adapt and evolve. They recognized that to remain relevant and engaging, they needed to reflect the changing world in their exhibits. They began to incorporate more interactive exhibits, allowing visitors to engage with the displays in ways they never had before. It was no longer just about observing from a distance. Visitors could now touch, feel, and interact with the exhibits, making the museum experience more immersive and engaging. In addition to this, the museum started to diversify its exhibits. It was no longer just a repository of historical artifacts. The museum began to showcase modern art, scientific innovations, and cultural exhibits from around the world. This diversification of exhibits attracted a wider audience, as there was now something for everyone. The museum also began to host special events and exhibitions. These events brought in renowned artists, historians, and scientists from around the world, further enhancing the museum's reputation. The museum became a hub for intellectual discourse and cultural exchange, attracting visitors from all walks of life. But perhaps the most significant change was the museum's decision to offer free admission. This was a bold and unprecedented move, but it was a game changer. It opened the doors of the museum to everyone, regardless of their financial status. This decision democratized access to knowledge and culture, and it was a key factor in the museum's surge in popularity. This period truly set the stage for the museum's future. The mid-20th century was a watershed moment in the museum's history. The changes implemented during this time laid the foundation for the museum's success and established it as one of the most visited museums in the world. Fast forward to the present day. The Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History stands as a testament to the thirst for knowledge and the power of curiosity. Today, the museum is a bustling hub of activity, teeming with visitors from every corner of the globe. It's not uncommon to see wide-eyed children marveling at the fossilized remains of dinosaurs or seasoned academics deep in thought in front of an ancient artifact. The museum's most popular exhibits range from the dazzling Hope Diamond to the awe-inspiring Hall of Human Origins. Each exhibit, meticulously curated, offers a unique journey through time and space. It's an experience that captivates millions of visitors each year. In fact, the museum has welcomed over 7 million guests annually in recent years, making it one of the most visited museums in the world. But the museum's reach extends far beyond its physical walls. In the face of a rapidly advancing digital age and a global pandemic that has redefined our understanding of connection, the museum has adapted, evolved, and thrived. Through virtual tours, interactive exhibits, and a wealth of online resources, the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History has opened its doors to the world. It has bridged the gap between past and present, between science and society, between a museum and a global audience. This transition to the digital world has not been without its challenges, but the museum has met these with resilience and innovation ensuring that its treasures continue to educate and inspire, regardless of distance or circumstance. It's a testament to the museum's commitment to its mission, to promote understanding of the natural world and our place within it. The Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History is more than just a collection of artifacts and exhibits. It's a living, breathing entity that continues to grow, adapt, and inspire. It's a place where history comes alive, where curiosity is rewarded, and where every visit promises a new discovery. The Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History continues to captivate audiences from around the world. But what is it that makes this museum so special? Well, it's not just one thing, but a remarkable blend of elements that sets this museum apart. First off, it's the extensive collection. It's like a treasure trove that brings together a wide array of artifacts, each with its own story to tell. From historical relics to contemporary artworks, from scientific discoveries to cultural heritages, the collection is as diverse as it is vast. It's like a kaleidoscope, constantly shifting and growing, offering a new perspective every time you visit. 
But a collection is just a collection without a way to engage with it, right? That's where the museum's exhibits come into play. They are not just displays, but immersive environments that transport you to different times and places. They invite you to explore, to question, to ponder. They spark curiosity and foster a sense of wonder. It's like stepping into a time machine, a spaceship, a secret passage to another world. It's more than just looking at things, it's about experiencing them, about learning and understanding. And that leads us to another standout aspect, the museum's commitment to education and research. It's not just about preserving the past, but about shaping the future. The museum works tirelessly to promote knowledge and inspire discovery. It hosts lectures, workshops, and special events. It collaborates with schools, universities, and research institutions. It provides resources for students, teachers, and researchers. It's not just a museum, it's a hub of learning and innovation. What's more, the museum strives to be inclusive and accessible. It welcomes everyone regardless of age, background, or ability. It offers programs and services tailored to different needs and interests. It's not just a place to visit, it's a place to belong. So what makes this museum special? It's a combination of all these factors, the extensive collection, the engaging exhibits, the commitment to education and research, and the inclusive environment. But most of all, it's the passion and dedication of the people behind it who work tirelessly to make the museum a place of discovery, learning, and inspiration. It's a combination of all these factors that makes the museum a global attraction. So, there you have it. We've journeyed through the history and growth of the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History, truly a beacon of knowledge and a testament to our natural world. Starting from a humble beginning, the museum has grown to become a global sensation, a hub of learning and exploration that attracts millions of visitors each year. We've traced the roots of the museum back to its inception, understanding its humble beginnings as a small collection of artifacts and specimens. Over the years the museum has expanded and evolved, continually adding to its vast collection and enhancing the visitor experience. We've seen the museum's turning point, a moment that transformed it from a national treasure to a global attraction. The introduction of the Hope Diamond, a spectacular gem that has captivated the world, was a game-changer for the museum. This priceless artifact, along with other unique exhibits, has played a pivotal role in drawing visitors from around the world. Today the museum stands as an iconic institution, a symbol of our collective curiosity about the natural world. Its expansive collection and innovative exhibits provide a unique opportunity for visitors to engage with history and science in a meaningful way. From the awe-inspiring dinosaur fossils to the mesmerizing mineral displays, from the interactive exhibits to the educational programs, every aspect of the museum is designed to inspire a sense of wonder and discovery. What makes the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History truly special is its commitment to education and exploration. It's not just a place to see artifacts and specimens, it's a place to learn, to engage and to understand our world in a deeper way. It's a place that fosters curiosity and nurtures a love for knowledge. The Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History, a testament to our natural world and a beacon of knowledge, truly deserves its title as the world's most visited museum.